were talking and he started telling me about ketamine therapy for post-traumatic stress for vets, for depression, anxiety, and all these things. And, and I decided to try it. And in the very first experience that I had, it was this little character working, more or less walking his way down this path. And he was made of this really soft, uh, soft material. Think about like corduroy. And continuously things would happen in this, in this journey for this little character. Um, he would get left behind. And I, this little character would be feeling all kinds of fear. Oh my gosh, like people are leaving me, sadness, anger. And then all of a sudden it'd get wiped out and uh, the character would reappear, but he'd be slightly harder every single time. And eventually through a series of these things, the character ended up as a porcelain character inside of a porcelain room and it looked beautiful. But I was looking at, I was looking at this porcelain character and uh, it almost looked like a cake topper with a man and a woman just looked perfect. But I had so much anxiety about it because as you know, porcelain is really fragile. And I came to realize in that moment that like, that was my life. Like I had built this, this vision of what success or what goodness or whatever it might look, the, the perfect family, all these things, what that looked like. But the reality was, is I was, I was stuck in this facade, so to say, and no true emotion was there. It was dead and cold. And I realized in that moment, my God, I have tightened myself so much that I'm no longer living in what I'd consider to be like an area where I can find joy. Everything was just stress around maintaining this perfect image. 